Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very special episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. Today, we are coming to you from the Red Squirrel Campsite in glorious Glencoe, Scotland, 14 miles away from Fort William. It's a beautiful, rustic campsite that I'm sure you will enjoy. So follow me. I'll show you around. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. I wanted to tell you guys about this great app too, RV Parky. What a wonderful app to go find campgrounds all over this great country of ours. And it's absolutely free. Check your Play Store. I should start off this video by saying I probably could just shut up and let this park speak volumes. Heh, <laughs> you know me better than that. Let me tell you a little bit about this beautiful park. So this is the Red Squirrel Campsite in the mountains of Argyle in Glencoe, Scotland. This place has been a campground of one variety of another since 1914. So for about a hundred years, campers have been coming to the Highlands to experience nature at its finest. But this campsite as it stands now was founded by a guy named Hugh McCall and it's been a thriving campground ever since. This campground is what we would call in the States a primitive campground, which means essentially it doesn't have water and electricity at each site. However, if you need to charge your mobile phone or maybe your CPAP battery or whatever for one pound, you heard me right. One pound, you can take it to the office and they'll charge it up for you. The sites are very small, so pretty much what they can accommodate is tents, small campers, which is what they call caravanettes in the UK, or camper vans. But the sites are small enough to where they couldn't possibly accommodate an RV or a motorhome. Now on to wildlife. It's called the Red Squirrel Campsite for a reason. There are red squirrel around cute little boogers. You also may run into a deer or possibly even a reindeer. Now, my usual disclaimer says, although they're cute and cuddly, you should never approach wildlife. And this one is no exception. Those reindeer can grow racks of antlers on them that if spooked, you're liable to get gorged. None of us want that. Let me tell you about the rules and regulations of this campsite. Climbers, canoeists, walkers, Families and all those who love camping are welcome. Camper vans are welcome for overnight stays, but they cannot accommodate motorhomes. The River Co. runs by the site, which is a great spot to watch the sunset. Also, if you like being near water when trying to sleep, it is perfect for that. They don't have any electric hookups, as I mentioned before, but for a pound, one pound, can you believe that? They will charge your small devices like your CPAP battery or maybe even your phone. Well-behaved pets are welcome, but as always, please clean up after them. There are deer and sheep and goats in the area, so you need to keep your pets on a lead no longer than six foot. In the winter and spring, deer, foxes, reindeer, wild ducks and woodpeckers wander on the site. Remember, you're visiting their home, not the other way around. Campfires are allowed if done responsibly. They sell firewood there, as well as kindling and fire lighters, but they do ask you use an existing fire pit, or you're welcome to use your own, ensuring it's kept off the grass. They ask kindly, don't make your own new fire pit. That just wouldn't be nice. They also ask that you leave the fires to die down by 11 p.m. and dispose of the ash the following day. And hey, if you're tent camping and don't really feel up to roughing it, they do have a bathhouse complete with toilets. Nice hot showers if that's what you're wanting, but of course, if you're in one of those caravanettes, you probably have a toilet and a hot shower in there. But if you're tent camping, that's a nice little thing to have right there. Now, one of the frequently asked questions was, do you allow parties? Well, I'm not entirely sure what they mean by a party. Over here, that would mean you rent a pavilion and have a party or a wedding reception or something of that nature. And I'm sure you're able to do some of that stuff there as well. 
but they do ask if you have any kind of party just keep the noise down to a minimum and make sure you're respectful of other campers while they do allow for walk-ins i read on their website that they really do prefer that you book in advance and you can pay with cash or credit card so should you find yourself in one of the most beautiful places on God's free planet, Glencoe, Scotland, and fancy a little bit of camping, the email is office at redsquirrelcampsite.co.uk. That's where you can go to get more information as far as availability and how much it is per night. So I think I'm going to do what I alluded to at the beginning of this year video and just be quiet for a little bit and let you all take in this majestic place. And until you're able to do it live and in person, let you guys just imagine what it must be like to wake up to that sight every morning. What a blessing. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this trainer rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Well, that's going to about do it for this very special episode of Eating Good in the Woods Campground Reviews. Listen, if you're considering sometime in the future doing a camping-only vacation in the UK, man, don't miss this place. Definitely put this one on your list. What a glorious place to stay. Well, listen, until next time, y'all going out there and be nice to one another. I sure love y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.